Welcome to the Performing Arts Series brought to you by the Kennedy Center and the Prince William Network. My name is Ricardo Gallardo. I'm the Artistic Director of Tambuco, percussion ensemble based in Mexico City. We are devoted to the performance of music written exclusively for percussion instruments. The piece that um, we just played is called Musica para Cacerolas, which means mixing balls music. It was written by a great musician from Brazil whose name is Hermeto Pascual. The music he writes is always very alive, very amusing, and with a very strong sense of humor, as you could see. Hermeto Pascual is a clever man who has discovered sound in all the things that surround his life, such as farm animals, birds, the wind, or the sea, as well as everyday objects that we commonly find in any house, like spoons, cans, or bowls for cooking or mixing food, like the ones that we just played. Beans inside, a net, a great musical instrument. Um, so he can, he can, with his music, he can prove that you don't need a, only a great instrument to make music, but also with any object you can play great music. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce all the members of Tambuco. Please let me introduce to you, to Claudia Oliveira, great percussionist from Brazil, Raul Tudon, and Alfredo Bringas. <laughs> Raul is also a very fine composer, and he writes often music that we performed. And Alfredo, who is a professor in the University of Mexico. <laughs> Usually, when we go to a concert, we see musicians playing together on instruments that we are familiar with or instruments that we recognize easily. We are very used to see them, like the flute, the piano, the trumpet, etc. What you will hear today on this occasion, however, is music being performed on more unusual instruments, but with one common characteristic. They are all percussion instruments. These are instruments that, in order to produce sound, they have to be either struck they have to be also struck but in a different way this is on a tense piece of skin mounted on a drum There's another technique to play percussion. This is the instruments that, in order to sound, they need to be scraped. And we have a fourth family of percussion instruments. Those are the instruments that, in order to produce sound, they are shaken.
Didn't you feel like dancing? The family of percussion instruments is as diverse as the amount of languages spoken in this world. On this occasion, we will play music on various percussion instruments that are not often seen in a concert hall. Uh, sometimes we are more used to see the drums or timpani or these big instruments. We will show that percussion can be very diverse and varied. We will even make some music with objects that are not considered instruments at all, like the first piece that you listen. The sound of percussion instruments produce a very diverse and, uh, and they can transmit, uh, produce a very diverse sound, amount of sounds. They can transmit to an audience both emotions and ideas that we are used to hearing in more familiar instruments. We can also show how music can be made without any instruments at all, like the piece that we will play next. Before uh, we get started in this, I'd like to take this opportunity uh, for you to get involved uh, in making some music with us, okay? Um, we will discover how we can make some music with different parts of our bodies. Um, please, I'd like this section of the audience to do while you're sitting exactly what Alfredo does, which is something like this. You can stomp on the floor. Okay, let's try to do it slower. Two and one, two and one, two and one, two, one, two. Okay, while that happens, keep going, keep going. We can have that side of the audience. And the middle section of the audience doing what Raul does. So you can practice this with your friends, and perhaps one of you may feel like improvising on top of that. Okay. Thank you so much. You're great. <laughs> We are taking auditions for Tambuco. <laughs> the piece we are going to do now was written by a very good friend of us, the Mexican composer Eugenio Toussaint. When Eugenio was writing this piece, he explained to us that he likes very much two kinds of music. The mambo music that I'm sure you must have heard uh, around there is a very alive and rhythmic Latin American dance music and also the flamenco music from the south of Spain with very strong guitar strumming and uh, hand clapping uh, and also a great dancing. He wanted to write a piece that combined sounds and rhythms found in these two kinds of music. The result is a piece that Tambuco will now play for you with no instruments, or better said, using the perfect instrument, our bodies as percussion instruments. For you then, Flambo Mambenco by Eugenio Toussaint. Thank you.
Thank you very much. The next piece in the program shows us how the combination of sound and movement can also be great, especially if these sounds and these movements can be done while sitting very comfortable at a table. What you will hear and see is a kind of a ballet for the hands, yes, not the feet. For its performance, the composer has developed a very clever way to play the table, using all parts of our hands in very different ways, such as playing, for instance, with our fingertips fingernails knocking on the table glissando this is a technique used in very in very different instruments like violin flutes whatever and means gliding and many other ways to produce sound with the hands. The movement of the hands in this piece has also been thought to be a kind of choreography where the audience can not only listen to the sound but also see it. It's very interesting how the visual aspect of the piece helps us to understand several techniques used in, in writing music. I'm going to, we are going to demonstrate some of these techniques. Basically, we want to show you three different techniques used in many kinds of music, but particularly in this piece of music. One is the unison. This is us three playing exactly the same thing. The second one is the canon, which is one piece of music, uh, one passage of the music um, played by one and immediately being followed by the other one. And then the next one, like row, row, row the ball, etc. <laughs> and the third one is a counterpoint where the three musicians are doing something um, very different, but those three different sections make a whole together that makes sense. We will very shortly um, play for you these three examples of unison, canon, and a counterpoint. Unison. Canon. And counterpoint. We will then play for you this piece written by the Belgian composer Thierry de May. The piece is simply called Musique de Table or Table Music. I hope you enjoy it.
before we play our last piece, I would like to uh, again introduce the members of Tambuco, this time playing some of the instruments that we have brought. Claudia Oliveira will play a small solo showing a very ancient instrument. This instrument is uh, from Mexico and his, uh, its origin dates back a long time ago, thousands of years perhaps. It's made out of a hollow tree and has been also carved out and produces two different tones or two different kinds of sounds. The name is an indigenous name of the um, ancient um, Aztec language called uh, Nahuatl, and the name of the instrument is Teponastli. As well as showing um, these instruments, we also want to show that uh, instrument, uh, percussion instruments can be also divided or classified according to the material they are built with. In this case, this was a wooden instrument. Alfredo will play uh, for us also a small solo using metal instruments. One of them is the cymbal that we commonly see in a drum set or in a band or whatever, and a set of cowbells. The symbol, the origin of the symbol is very ancient as well, perhaps Central Asia, um, and it has been developed until the shape that it has right now. He will also demonstrate how to play very old instruments with new techniques. Perhaps one of the most significant instruments of the West African culture is, uh, without any doubt, the djembe. It's a great instrument that has the capability of produce very low sounds and very high ones, and a very powerful volume as well. It's also a very ancient instrument that Raul will play also using modern techniques.
Thank you. And one more instrument to show you is uh, also an instrument that has been developed until the shape uh, that we know it today. It's this wooden instrument here that look like claws, you know. This is the um, temple blocks. These uh, were also wooden blocks used in Buddhist temples in, in China and Japan to pray. These are the temple blocks. We will play now for you a piece uh, that was written for us during the first year of Tambuco as a percussion ensemble. It is played, it played on these instruments that I described, instruments that belong to different cultures, the powerful djembes, the um, played in West Africa, the teponaslis uh, of ancient Mexico and Central America, the symbols of Central Asia, and uh, temple blocks from Japan as well as the cowbells. Each one of us has a set of four cowbells. We, we will play all these instruments in a very particular way. This is a piece that in a musical way represents the different aspects that give shape to our culture today. It is a rich heritage of traditions with mixture of other cultures, the mix of old and new, the sounds of the past and the present, to discover perhaps the sounds of the future. After this, we will take your questions. And now for you, this piece, Corazón Sur, which means the heart of the South. Thank you.
Thank you. Now, we would like to invite our um, audience, both live and remote, to ask us questions at this time. You can call at 800-578-1396. Uh, we have here our first question. My name is Lauren McDonough, Hi. and do the masks have a special meaning? Yes, they do. As you heard in this piece, all the rhythms that we play from the beginning of the piece are very rhythmic, very down-to-earth, very earthy rhythms. Yes, this is very important because that's associated with life, perhaps. You know that we can discover life and we can discover that things are alive by its rhythm. We can feel it in our heartbeat. We can feel it in the night and the day, how things move. You know, movement equals life. And uh, as soon as we wear a mask, then the person on the stage becomes a sort of actor, and uh, the rhythm stops being earthy, and we go to a very strange um, sound, like out of this planet, you know? like a mythologic character, mythological character. That's why we use the, the, the masks. It makes much more sense, and of course, it can represent something else. Any other question? Hi, um, my name's Jamie Griffin. Do any of the pieces you play have the rhythms and sounds that reflect the culture of Mexico? Yes, they reflect not only the um, culture of Mexico, but also they reflect um, what modern culture is about, and modern culture is about the mixture of many different cultures. So I hope that was reflected in this concert. Next question. Hi, I'm Holly Lathrop, and where else have you performed, and where are you performing after this? Well, we have performed in many countries, in three continents. We played in Japan, we played all over Europe, we played in Latin America, we played before in the States, and right after this concert, uh, we will do a couple of uh, school concerts and um, two very important concerts at the Kennedy Center. Um, right now, we have a call from Arkansas. Um, go ahead, caller. Hello, my name is Shana Harden from West Campus Technical School in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Hi, Shana. And I have two questions. Yes. How is the music written different or is it, and how do you read it? Well, my yes. second question is, how did you get the interest in this music, and how did the team get together? Well, yes, it's three questions in one. I will, uh, I will very briefly um, answer to all of those. I need the score for one of them. We use the score as any other instrumentalist. Uh, we read music out of um, a pentagram, and for some pieces like the table music, that's very different. If, uh, if I might show perhaps to um, one of the cameras, it, the composer develops sometimes their own kind of writing. And this, uh, this kind of writing uh, gives precise instructions on how, um, how the music has to be performed, you know, as any other kind of music. Let us not forget that the music is only the, inf the instructions or the informations put on paper of an idea that a composer had. The other part of the question is how did we get together? We were um, colleagues at the university, and we grew together there, and after that we became a, per a professional ensemble. Thank you. We have a, another call from Norfolk, Virginia. Go ahead, caller. Hi, this is Sean Wetmore from Norfolk Sean. Academy. Um, we had two questions. One, um, where did the idea from Boeing for Boeing the symbols come from? And what role does religion play in your music? And does any of it reflect the cultural conflict from your history? Yes. First of all, the bow. Perhaps uh, during the 60s, um, when composers had been trying to develop new sounds and when New instruments uh, also were developed, like synthesizers. That was actually well before the 60s, but it was in that uh, decade 
when the um, composers became more interested in the new techniques, this is finding new sounds in all the instruments, and perhaps that's the origin. One of them was the, was the, the bow. The role that um, religion plays in music has always been very important, a very important issue in the history of music. In our particular case, um, we cannot decide that as performers. We just perform the pieces that uh, are written by composers. We work very closely with composers, and some of them might find the inspiration, a mythical inspiration or a spiritual inspiration uh, to uh, write the kind of music that they write. Uh, we have another call from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Go ahead, caller. Hi, my name is Pete. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'd like to find out, um, are the clothing, is there any certain type of clothing that you must wear? And number two, for weddings, do you have um, special instruments that you would play for wedding or are all the instruments played? Well, we have never played in a wedding before. Uh, we, we don't know what would be the reaction of the bride and the groom. Perhaps they start dancing all the time. Um, um, and the clothing. Sometimes in formal concert situations, uh, we tend to wear dark uh, clothes. This is uh, in order to not to distract the attention of many the, of the instruments that we use. Uh, in this case, uh, since it's a television program, we decided that a, a colorful outfit would, would be much better. I'm um, sorry we're out of time now, and I'd like to give big thanks to the other members of Tambuco again, Alfredo, Claudia, and Raúl Tudón. We hope you have enjoyed today's show. My name is Ricardo Gallardo. If you didn't get a chance to ask a question today, uh, you can contact us by using the email address on the screen. We'd love to hear from you and answer all your questions. And we, we will also take uh, this opportunity to invite you to visit the Kennedy Center and the Prince William Network websites at the addresses on your screen. There you will find information on upcoming programs as well as other resources on integrating the arts into the curriculum. We would also like to hear what you think of the Kennedy Center Performing Arts Series. So we have provided an electronic forum, for, for electronic forum for comments and suggestions. It is on the Prince William Network website, and we are asking that you fill it out so that we can select topics and resources you need to enhance your classroom experience. I'd like you to remember that our next program will be Friday, February 23rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Time when you will meet the Pulitzer Prize winning playwright, August Wilson. I would like to thank the students in the auditorium as well for being with us. And also, as a special thanks, the viewing audience from across the country for tuning into the program. We would like to finish this program with a piece from West uh, Africa, and um, it's based on traditional rhythms of West Africa, and this is your chance to join in and clap or stomp your feet or dance or whatever you feel like. We thank for your attention. Thanks a lot.